All right, so you just turned on, you're just watching, but we have been at it for what, 45 minutes getting to this point? Mm -hmm. Good drive, got a little hike ahead of us. Now, the thing is, it's finally going to happen. Tim, hitchhiker, he's out of here. This is his last dig with us. Boo! And it really sucks, because we really love Tim. Right. He's been a great addition to the SD crew, and... I don't want to get bummed out, man, so... We're hey. going to have to make you come back at some point. Oh, yeah. No doubt. I'll be back. I'll be back to visit. Yeah, you better be. Right. But yeah, what a great ride it's been, though. It yeah. sure has. Well, so as we go and dig... I don't know what the theme will be about Tim leaving today, but we're heading out to hopefully find a cellar hole. That's it. Good luck, Tim. Thanks. Right. Good luck, Tim. So here we start out, we don't have a road to follow, but we do have some signs, stacked rocks. That is no, by no means a deposit. Right. And uh, potentially a little shoulder? Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Either way, follow the sun. Oh yeah, lots of stacked rocks. Right. Now see what's interesting about where we are, we were kind of hesitant about it because uh, it's detached. There's no there's no roads out here. There's no other home sites. But we are seeing clear signs of people doing things. Oh man, if there's a site out here, this is gonna be awesome. There's something out here that's been out here. Yeah. Oh my God, it is out here. You want something else, Charlie, to find these places. That's wild. <laughs> I mean, really. Process of elimination, Tim. Hey, do you think that got lifted by that tree? Holy <laughs> crap. I have never seen anything like that before. Oh, oh. And as we were thinking, probably predates all the sites out on the established road yeah definitely Beautiful. that's very cool out there in front of the house too that's when i knew when you said gingerbread i said we're getting close man yeah well you can see these people took uh time and care into actually did, and making land, it nice the yeah. land still looks good right yeah even after all this time look how easy it's going to be to swing around here yeah yeah all right everybody prepare we'll all turn on at the same time all right so I was just thinking, as I usually do, this is the Ebenezer crew. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You're right. So. Anything is possible. This could be one of those sites. And uh, that's one of the things I was thinking this morning. I would tell. So as you go and take memories with you, that Ebenezer dig that you were involved with is right up there in like oh, the yeah. top five oh, it's uh, it is moments. definitely and especially since there was a place i brought you guys to to begin with it yeah just and it made just, it all that much special yeah yep. full circle on that yeah yep right all right gear up turn on let's see what happens so we've been at it a few and dame got an iron buckle i got bean pot wayno's got a ox shoe this is the first solid sounding target I've heard that could be ammo ah it is a button good old two-piece back end of it yeah it looks like pewter under that huh oh yeah yeah well yeah it's apparent somebody has been here surprisingly for this location but they didn't move any brush so I think if we nitpick hard we should be able to pull something out of here notice all the stacked rocks like not really walls just 
Well, there is a retaining wall over Around there. Around that corner. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's pretty neat. And then it just all drops off over there. A little yard work? Yeah. Let me guess, you got a signal under there? No, I'm rolling the dice. Oh, you're just going to break it up. See if I can catch anything that was under there. Good idea. Fight you once, I must have just not hit it the yeah. right way. Yeah. Come back. Hasn't been through a fire. Be right. Beautiful Wainos. Right? And it was 44, 77, 80, 65. Hut, hut. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. That's exactly what it was. Alright, well I just took a walk. I found the barn. Nice. Slightly down the hill. Back to Wainos because he got... I went all over trying to get it. And then I got a little cuff link or a cuff button. One of the two. Oh yeah. Still got the shank and everything on it. I'll give you a look at the backside. Good, 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 good. Keep at it. Oh yeah. Fifty, fifty-one. You're in the nickel range. Oh wait a minute. Oh, Chunk of a shoe buckle frame. Look at that. Very good. Nice. Good. All right. Well, I'm gonna get down with moving some brush. Yeah, yeah. I'm just weaving around it and. Great. Yeah. So, where Tim is working is kind of an interesting situation. The house sat there, and there's there's a wall going right here in that ridge. Kind of an odd place with a wall, huh? And then it goes down there, and it takes a left and climbs up over the ridge and keeps going. Huh? Did you swing in there? Yeah. It was pretty quiet, but I figured if that was their dump, right, throwing it out the back door or Anything like that, I figured I'd swing it, but it was quieter than I'd hoped. All right, well, if you're looking for the barn, it's right over there. Okay, I was wondering if it was over there because of that corner. Yeah. But I now I that would be too close to the house. I walked over. It was pretty quiet, but definitely the barn. So that's why they improved this, so they could get to the barn. Yep, yeah, see the embankment here. Traveling right around and down. We find tons of transportation stuff all the time. Never in my life have I seen one of those. That is the world's smallest ox shoe I've ever seen in my life. That is awesome. Right? Isn't that insane? Wow! It's got the ridge on it and everything, and you can see where the nails were. It's a toddler shop. Yeah. Toddler chop, exactly. Dude, you could clean that up and wear it for a, as a necklace. Tim was just saying that. Run a hole through it, wire brush it up, and yeah. hang it right around. That's, Isn't that's that awesome. insane? That's awesome. <laughs> All right, here's the barn. All the supporting walls. And there's Tim. I heard you got something. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if it's a leather tool. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. Nice. Let's check this out. As Tim was just commenting, so there's the side wall of the barn. This is this side. The entire barn is literally on the side of a hill, so the inside of the barn was like that. Coming over here, and here's the ramp that probably came out the big front doors. But this is great as you look Outside the ramp, it just goes down, down, down. You would have had to get one hell of a running start to get up in this thing. It's pretty big, too, for a barn. Most interesting signal I've had all day. There it is. Logger's chain. Nice. And that right there? Goes to show you, we are digging everything we hear today, yeah. and it's thin. It is thin. We may have to travel again. Yes. Plan what? Y. Plan Y, <laughs> which is unfortunate because this this location is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's clean. There's no garbage. There's not even any ammunition. I haven't there. dug any ammunition. No. Yeah. No, I'd be happy to be here. Oh yeah, and they're like 51. Boop boop boop. <laughs> yeah, we'll give everyone a few minutes and then we'll figure it out. Wow. 
See the nails in it? Oh, yeah. That's got to be it, right? See, my theory about them not being here very long is true. Their oxen didn't even have time to grow up. Right. Huh, one's more rounded than the other. Maybe a different size. Yeah. Definitely. Maybe you got the uh, midsection of the shoe. Right, right. It's a badge. badge. Yeah. Oh, it is. Nice, Tim. Holy cow. Good job, man. Right? The one on the tiny, tiny saddle they put on that tiny oxen. Exactly. Nice. Do they put saddles on oxen? <laughs> I don't Actually, if they're moving the kids around, right? Why, Why not? not? Uh, <laughs> the guy in uh well actually the guy in uh blazing saddles didn't that's you know right. he didn't have mongo no, he didn't use a saddle he, he didn't wore need a it bareback <laughs> holy get <shit>, it's mongo <laughs> all right so we've elected to move on that site was an awesome visit great colonial site but rather thin on the finds that's okay because we like adventuring so we're going to head back down to our old road and we think we got a couple more to visit and we'll do our best so we have no idea how it's going to be beyond this point because we haven't been beyond this point uh he's thinking he wants to leave his ear then so we just walk it i have no problem walking you know that yep i mean i don't know how far we gotta go but that's no different than any, any other yeah. day and we haven't really done any serious hiking today, just walking around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> Very quietly. Three miles in the same quarter acre. So yeah, we're gonna go on a hike. Gotta bring our coffee kit, because we could be out there for a while. All right. All right, here we go, another one. Fortunately, I don't visibly see any trash. Does anybody see dig holes? No, not immediately. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go throw my bag on the threshold stone, Thank good you. camp, and let's try it again. Yep. Boy, I'm just getting my gear out of my bag, and Tim already has a button. Nice. So, again, this site is thin, but things are happening, and Buenos is working Here's the threshold stone. There's like a walk walkway going That's down what I was behind the do, house. To the perimeter, and oh, nice button. Yeah. You nice. finally got your button, Dame. Got my button for the day. Oh man, Dame has been saying. We've been walking around. All we've been listening to all day long is, I just want one button. Why can't I find one button? So he finally got it, which is good. Now we won't we won't have to listen anymore. Right. I think I'm gonna do the perimeter around here. Ah. I got a button. Yes. Now we don't have to listen to you singing that song anymore. Why can't I get just one button? <laughs> <laughs> I got another button. No, sir. Oh, well, here it's they come. It's your day, man. Nice. Here come the buttons. We got that side. We got that side. Oh, beautiful mm -hmm. shank, huh? Yes. Good. Everybody got their button for the day. And rest. <laughs> well, now let me guess, because just from what I'm gathering about the site, the button didn't sound as good as the nails? No, it's funny. It sounded a lot less. <laughs> well, that didn't sound deep at all. It's definitely something that's part of its minimal piece now beyond what it used to be back then more complete. All right, people of SDN, if you've ever seen one of these, let me know what it is. No idea. <laughs> Another dinnerware knife? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> knife job. Thank you. Oh, yeah.
Huh. That's yours, and look at mine. Oh, wow. Can't be like heavy duty sewing machine stuff, can they? I mean, they just seem too large, but. Oh, yeah, it's chasing beer cans, it sounds like. That sounds like a good one, dig that. <laughs> Bush light. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's coffee time because we've been digging a long time and it's time for a break. Well, we've had coffee, we've given it hell here, and we've got to head down the mountain. All right, so we made it out. Buenos has to go that way. The three of us are gonna head back to the shack. There is actually one more thing to do. We gotta go back and you have to connect with your suspension box before you go. Rub it up and down a bit because for Tim, his suspension box challenge has to happen where he's going. And he's a native guy, his family lives here, so he will be back, but I guess we'll discuss it when we get back to the shack as to protocol. Oh, great. You never know, man. You might be the first one to open up a box and you're going to be... Maybe. A thousand miles away, so... Yeah. Buenos, we'll see you when we see you next time. Oh, yeah. We're going back to the shack. I'm around like a donut. Yeah, you are. What do you think, Tim? You want to take some loofah with you? Or you got? You probably got enough. Yeah, I, yeah, I got I got loofah. All right, so... For continuum continuity. What does your tag say? Do not open until you find Civil War Silver, 1861-1865 in Tennessee. Right. You could have us, well obviously you're going to keep us posted and updated, but you could send video clips if you find something cool we could interject it in here right but the thing is if you find it you gotta wait to come back right <laughs> double suspension there you go one will be open someday someday <laughs> you know I, w I was thinking about it uh, with certain things there I haven't dug a crotal bell once this season I'm usually good for three or four Strange. Yeah, I think that's strange. I'm wondering about the possibility of cross irradiation. That's what I'm saying. I haven't dug a crotal bell, and he's closest to me. Right. I already got the Vermont copper landscape thing out of the way, so even if it's germinating. Right. All right, so we got to go. He got to go. I got to go. Lou? Lou don't have to go. No. You can stay. Hopefully we'll see you back up here for a visit. Yes. I will let you know when the plans are final and when I'll be here. They'll be waiting and uh, that's it. Grow old with memories, not regrets, people. Nice. We're going to end it right there. See you next week. Well, it started way back so long ago Try to remember if you even know So far back you can even say The world was better in a different way That seems sometimes changing oh so fast Trying to move forward while living in